Hello friends, this is Frank from Germany and you see we sitting here in my living room. I want to explain my new famous project, uh, extremely simple um, automatic tool changer. What is an extremely simple automatic tool changer? The, the name is uh, completely uh, clear. We want to change the end mill bits automatically. And um, I create a thread in Google Plus and a lot of people follow me and see what has happened with this project and so on. But now I can say the mission are close to a successful. And um, but first of all, I want to explain how the XATC works, because the physics behind this project, it's a little bit um, difficult, but if you see this as an example, then I think uh, you can understand this. And after that, we go down to my basement and then, um, yeah, I want to show you uh, the XATC in action. So now I built a carousel and my carousel for the example is this IKEA breakfast table. Yes, you see, you can rotate this and I think it's a good solution to um, show you how it works. So that's our table. So I have to say, okay. So that's our table. <clears throat> the carousel is <clears throat> a millet, yes, piece of wood with um, holes on um, 9 degrees, 180 degrees, 90 degrees, and uh, let me calculate 270 degrees. And between this holes is also holes. Um, the holes is for the gator grips. I have a gator grip here, my breakfast cap as an example, and <clears throat> we put this gator grip here on the position 9 degrees. In mathematics, in math, you have 90 degrees here, nine, uh, I think 90 degrees in uh, counterclock, I think, or backward uh, direction, uh, and then it's 90 degrees, 90, 180, 270, and here it's 90 degrees or 360 degrees. So, and uh, our spindle. It's my breakfast knife. I hope you can see this here yeah, a little bit. Okay, so now I want to explain. We go to the cup or the gator grip and go down in this um, gator grip. Very important now is we have to um, block the spindle. But the first time we go down and rotate the spindle so that the uh, nut in the spindle is screwed, but not so, um, not so strong. So now we go up and then a spindle blocker will block this rotation of the spindle. Then we go down again and move an arc around 40 degrees. And you see the cup is rotating, but not the spindle. And this will um, the collet nut um, with a lot of torque um, rotate. Why a lot of torque? You have to calculate the center of this uh, carousel and the center of this hole. And then you see this is our physics. Yes, this gives us a lot of power. Okay, when we when we have our target with this. And then we de-block the spindle and rotate backward to the zero position. That's very important for the next tool change because now the spindle makes his work and so on. Go back and the hole is in the correct accurate position and we can work uh, with uh, another end mill also. The macro I created is so intelligent, he now which uh, tools he has in used. When we say, okay, make the next tool change, but with the same tool, then the macro say, okay, I have the correct tool in my mouse <laughs> example, then I can work uh, uh, the next process. But if he want to change the tool in the spindle, then he go uh, to the other port or no. 
we, we take the next board. Okay, the spinner is finished with working, go back, and then he have to um, rotate to the other direction. You see the saw, and then also block the spinner first, and then go to the another direction, and this let the call it unscrew. Yes, with a lot of power. And then we would we deblock this, let the end mill in this cup or in the skater grip, and then we go back to the zero position and can get the next bit. I think it is a very nice solution and very important, a very cheap solution. I think a lot about uh, the gator grips. The gator grips are a little bit expensive. Yes, the gator grips cost around $10 in a free market. But I found um, an eBay store, you can get the gator grip for $6.50 $6 or a euro for 5 euros. Okay, you now. When you uh, get some stuff from the Chinese um, store, then you have to wait three weeks. But <clears throat> I think every day about another solution. And maybe we can uh, find a very cheap solution. The one solution is <clears throat> to mill in this carousel uh, a quadrat or a box, yes, a pocket box. And then we put a little bit of... Um, foam rubber inside and um, a little um, uh, frame a millet in Delrin yes with a hexagon inside and with a quadrat outside and then we can go uh, in, in, the, in the center of this uh, pocket is a hole for our bit and we can um, go down and the, the, the collet will catch this frame and then we can work with this. Maybe it works, maybe not. Maybe you have a lot of ideas. I saw also a very nice solution from Arthur Wolf. Uh, he is he come from France. I see he, uh, on some topics some problems but I want to wait how uh, his um, uh, project will work or not. He has uh, also a very nice um, table. You can see the photo here. And um, he has hexagon holes or pockets in this um, Darwin carousel. And he also used, um, uh, I don't know, a Kugellager. I want to this, uh, translate uh, on the, <laughs> here on the left side. <coughs> but now I think enough speaking. And um, you want to see uh, the um, X80C work. Come with me in the basement and then I want to show you this. So friends, welcome in my basement. Now you see the complete process to put an end mill in the holder and get the next end mill from the next holder. The mill was uh, very screwed in this collet. Now you see he block the spindle and make the magic arc move uh, to unscrew this collet. Now we de-block and go back to the zero position. Then he rotate a little bit the spindle, let the end mill in the holder, go to the next holder and screw it a little bit, not too much. And the torque move will come after the blocking the spindle now now the magic move in the another direction to screw this uh, call it very strong yes he has a lot of torque and yes that's all we get the next tool So here you see um, the GitHub project webpage uh, for my XAETC project uh, with a lot of text because I put the transcribed text um, from my last video sessions uh, in the readme. Um, interesting is today we want to see the carousel Kembem file. I noticed here in Kembem 
Uh, you can see um, the design from the holder. Here's a holder uh, with uh, two screws um, uh, to hold this holder on the table from the CNC machine. And this one, it's a M10 um, threaded rod to put a, a threaded rod in this hole uh, to screw this threaded rod in a hole. You will see this um, some seconds later to uh, in, in the photos. Here you see the holders. Um, all the holders um, has um, a specific position. Here the first holder is T1, then comes T2, and so on. T3, T4, T5, T6, and so on. Um, the You see here this white circle. It's uh, positioned on the center and has a radius of 45 millimeters. Accurate, it's very important. Uh, you see here also it's a diameter of 90 millimeters. I mill this um, in a uh, piece of MDF that is uh, 22 millimeters thick. And um, yes, we can uh, see uh, some photos now. Here you see the milling process <clears throat> from the carousel. Now it's finished. And here on my CNC table with some gator grips and the thread rod on the, on the center of the solder. The spindle blocker. Here you see uh, the design in the CAMBAM file. I changed a little bit, but you can see how complicated is this little thing. To recognize uh, what is what, um, here a little photo from this millet. Um, um, I uh, say uh, pick and place holder, but uh, it has a lot of more function. But you see also very nice the linear rail, this gray thing here, with his, um, yeah, with his wagon, I think, and also our, um, yeah, plastic wrench. I put a normal wrench on this plastic wrench later, but for the first time it was enough for me to testing. Um, on this side here you see the stepper motor for pick and place, and on this side the stepper motor holds for our solar dispenser. And here you see the hole in pink or so uh, for our um, uh, servo. I like servos, very nice things. And this um, lets the blocker to go forward and backward and blocks the spindle. It works very well. And I'm very satisfied with this design. So with this system, I test a lot. Here you see my first tries to uh, block the spindle. And if you see uh, the wrench, it is not complete blocked. But <clears throat> after some tries, um, also this uh, mission was uh, successful. Um, how I use this uh, or how I control this uh, little wrench. First of all, I have a servo. He um, moved this linear wheel back and forth. You see this here very good. This little server is burned now. I replaced this with another very cheap Chinese server. And um, I control this mostly with a Node MCU. It's connected via Wi Fi. To control this server, uh, or servo uh, via a node MCU. I wrote a little program with um, <clears throat> a web server inside. You see here uh, we use this module Wi Fi and also the module web server. It's um, here you put your SSID and password for your Wi Fi um, inside. And then uh, you can see the, the program himself, it's very easy. Yes, he um, you can control this little thing with um, uh, this URL. Here you see it's HTTP IP, and then you call server, 
question mark, position, target, and weight. And um, <clears throat> that's closely uh, to all. Uh, the position is the position in degrees. A servo can only handle position a normal servo uh, between 9 degrees, 0 degrees, and 180 degrees. Uh, the target was an um, experiment for me to uh, get the uh, potentiometer ins um, inside the servo. You can get the middle, uh, the center pin of this uh, potentiometer, and then you can um, get this value on the analog input from the node MCU. Uh, but I realized it's not necessary. Also, it's not necessary to wait. Um, the interesting um, value for, only, for you, it's only position. That's all. Yeah, you see, uh, I uh, want to um, uh, move the servo to position 125 degrees, then he he will do this. The rest is uh, only, um, yeah, some uh, other stuff. Here you see um, the control of the servo, uh, which pin on the servo, and so on. For the carousel, we have to use a gator grip. You see uh, here a typical Chinese gator grip, and I have to design um, a holder for our um, uh, end mills in this gator grip. You can put this holder in the gator grip. You see, it's my first design in Fusion 360. I like this program. Yes, it's awesome. You see the most things in. Yeah, in a kind of a real world, you can uh, display the hidden edges now, and you see also the end mills um, going maybe 20 millimeter in this hole. Then you can render the thing. It's ray tracing file uh, or ray tracing pictures. You see it's very fast, uh, and you see uh, this hole uh, close to uh, real uh, how it's printing later. So now um, I get the folder um, from my 3D print guy and um, uh, have to drill the center hole a little bit because um, I want that the in end mill it's, uh, it's in the hole but tighten. Yes, uh, not um, this is uh, very important that the in end mill it's um, hold in this uh, holder, and uh, when we change the tool in our, in our automatic tool changer, that the end mill stay in this holder. Yeah, and here you have to be a little bit work accurate. I measure the deep and try to uh, uh, use my end mill with. Uh, outside diameter of 3.175 and then uh, I try to make this hole so accurate as possible yes and at the end you can put this end mill in this hole but you need a tool to put it out and this is perfect because um, <clears throat> uh, this holder has a name holder and uh, have to hold this thing now uh, we, uh, I have to prepare a little bit the gator grip. Uh, we need a six millimeter hole inside of this um, kind of K for the spring loads and so on. Um, also here, very careful to drill this hole because you can destroy this little spring loads. They are very sensitive. And at the end, we can put this holder in this gator grip rotators and then we have a chance to put our end mill in this holder and it is at the end hopefully perfect centered uh, lying in this gator cup now i have to glue this holder in this gator grip um, i use a uh, Super glue, uh, careful about your hands. Yeah, at the end, you see uh, I use a tool to put this in the gator grip. 
and then you wait some minutes and it's finished. The XATC macro. Here you see um, an example of a G-code file. First of all, we need a tool database. You see this uh, on T1, T2, T3, a driller with 9.6 millimeter outside diameter. T2, it's a slot two with a driller, one millimeter outside diameter. And T3, an example, it's a Miller with two millimeter outside diameter. To start the um, uh, automatic tool change, you can use the command chili pepper pause XTCT1. And uh, this uh, system is so intelligent. If uh, then he knows um, if he have another tool in the in the, in the spindle, then he want first put the old tool in his slot, and then he gets a new tool from T1. An example. Um, this piece of software is yeah a little bit complicated, and uh, I work a lot to find the perfect parameters and so on. You can see this um, in the next screen. We wait a little bit. <laughs> ah, yeah, here you see an example. If you have a second chili pepper pause XTC T1, then he don't want to change this tool because T1 and T1 is the same. And um, this Marco also cares about this. So now I want to show you how this works in chili pepper. Here you see I load two macros at the same time. The first macro cares about the commons M3 and M5 to start or stop the spindle over the DC controller. I described this in my last video sessions. And <clears throat> on the bottom side, you see uh, I load the the main uh, macro with, and you can set some parameters. The first parameter is the serial port XTC. That's the XTC uh, DC controller. You can send, uh, please uh, drive the spindle forward, backward in different speeds. Um, uh, also, you can break the spindle very fast and you can read the current senses of the spindle. The second one is the network address of our servo. He is controlled over a node MCU. You need an IP address for this. Um, safety high, it's the maximum high uh, that the spindle can move in the z-axis and not z minus five in this example it's the deep how deep can uh, dive uh, the spindle in this gator grip also we have the center of the um, of the carousel with um, the 45 millimeters uh, radius then the servo uh, the degrees in block position and unblock position very important, the torque degrees, 40 degrees here. It's um, the the move, the arc move that produces the torque uh, in this uh, screw process. Very important. Please don't make this too high. It can destroy your machine. Um, then we have also um, the slots and his positions with some additional informations. Um, the, the, the torque for, for, for the spindle to, to uh, make it a little bit torque uh, and also how long and so on. I want to explain this um, in another video session. <clears throat> and now we have here our macro. You see it's a little bit, uh, yeah, complicated software, but the important things in this macro, it's the way how we can fire events. This is a position-oriented event system. This means if the machine arrived at a specific position, then I fire up an event. An example, um, we uh, have the start spin is low event, and uh, the machine first move to the position over the slot, and then we start this uh, slow move, and then the machine go down to the to the gator grip. Um, 
how we do this first of all we check every 200 milliseconds the position of the machine and then you see here the example uh, first of all we define an event then we use a jquery function with a, a typical condition if the start bin is slow happened then uh, call the comment starts bin is slow and here the important thing if the machine arrived x holder pos x y holder pos x and z starts bin slow position then he fire up this event and also he uh, sent on the console a specific uh, text then we can recognize everything is okay he fire up this event so friends that's the end of uh, this video session i hope you like it and uh, please send me all your comments or bad or good um, in google plus in the thread or also uh, here on the video comments um <clears throat> what's next yeah the good question the next one is uh, i make a vacation we have summertime hopefully the last two months only rain uh, but um people they know me they know uh, i can't really stop to thinking about this project and so on and uh, yeah maybe i have a uh, new surprises but i think for this time it's enough uh the I'm a little bit proud about this project. Um, the <clears throat> X80C will work, works as designed, and uh, this makes me very happy. A lot of people support me in this moment. Um, when I'm thinking on Arthur Wolf, he uh, made this second X80C or a copy of X80C. This project has another name, but I was very happy to see this. Then John Lauer, the founder of Chili Pepper, great program. Thanks, John. Um, <clears throat> also, the people from uh, uh, the, uh, the founder from Tiny G, they support me also very much. Thank you. And um, um, yes, I fly in one month uh, for four days or so to Sebastian in Poland. Uh, some people know him from our Google Plus uh, thread. We drink some Polish vodka and I think we have a happy uh, time. And yes, we speak a lot about CNC machine, my new projects and so on. And maybe, maybe we make a little vacation video for you, for you uh, and for the community. <clears throat> yes, for the first time, bye bye. I hope you like it. Please thumb up or thumb down. I don't care. <laughs> and um, yes, I hope you like it. Bye bye.